Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do April beauty favorites. So it's going to consist of hair stuff, some makeup stuff, and also some skincare. Um, within this month I found that I have a lot of products. So it has been a minute since I filmed the video, um, but we're making it work. We're just in the midst of a move. So um, I am still going to film and I'm still going to get these videos up for you, but we're going to start off with doing the April favorite. So I'm going to start with lip products today. Um, I have been kind of in a phase of liking like nudes, like a mauve kind of nude. I know it's summer, I should be liking like bright colors, um, but I have been liking the mauve nudes. So the first two products I have, I have mentioned one of them before. So it is the Rouge Bunny Rouge Lip Liner. Um, it is called Roland, yeah, Roland I think, um, but it is quite expensive. I believe it's like in the $30 range. There is one that I found that's kind of a similar dupe and it is the Milani lip liner. So, um, and this one is in number 03. I'll insert a swatch here so you guys can kind of see the difference, but they're both very creamy. They're very soft. They're on that pinky mauve kind of spectrum. Um, like I said, the Rouge Bunny Rouge is quite expensive. Milani is like a few dollars at Superstore here in Canada. So definitely a huge price difference, but very similar product. Today I am using this lip liner, so the Milani one in 03. Definitely a recommendation I have. Um, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a lip liner, go for the Milani one. It's really, really nice. And these are both my favorites for the month of April. Um, but I've been reaching for the Milani one a little bit more. I will be completely honest, I did lose the Rouge Bunny Rouge one um, for a little while, so that's probably why I found this in my collection of stuff, um, but definitely worth checking out, or both of them. I will link everything down below for you guys to check out, um, just so you can see like the price difference and the swatches them, of them as well. So the two lipsticks I have, again, are in that mauve Nude family. The first one is a Rimmel lipstick. So these ones are quite affordable because they are Rimmel from the drugstore. Um, this one is in number 45. It's the Kate, um, what are they? Uh, Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick. So these ones, I believe, were supposed to be like limited edition. So I got all of them. Um, but I still see them in the stores like a year later. So definitely not something that has been moving off the shelves quickly. So you can still get it. Again, that's the Rimmel number 45. Um, and the next one I have is Smashbox lipstick. I've had a lot of Smashbox lipsticks, but I haven't really dipped into them very much. I don't know. I was, oh, I was on the matte bandwagon and then I was on like the liquid lipstick bandwagon. Um, nothing that's like creamy. But now I'm on that creamy kind of shiny bandwagon. So this is definitely one of those options. I believe they're almost the same color. Um, I will insert a swatch so you can kind of tell the difference. But this one is in Audition by Smashbox. So again, huge price difference between the two. But they're both very good. Um, this one smells a little bit better, the Rimmel one. But they're both beautiful. So um, they are in that mauve nude kind of family. So moving on to some makeup favorites besides lip products. I have a couple here. Um, some, like I've mentioned before, I'm try trying to use up some of my collection. So I have kind of dipped into things and found a few things that I probably haven't even tried or um, used as often as I should have. So this is definitely one of those products. I did purchase it because I know someone on YouTube, I can't remember who, but they did recommend this product and said it was a great product. So I did pick it up. Um, it is the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. I got 10. I believe that's taupe. Um, I picked this up. I've never used it before, um, before this past month. So, um, it was from Sephora. Um, it's definitely good for someone who is blonde. It is what I have on my brows today. I like it a little bit better than the Anastasia Dip Brow. I find that it's a little bit more liquidy. So I can use it and maneuver it on my eyebrows for a little bit longer than I can the Dip Brow. The Dip Brow kind of gets a little bit, um too dense and dries up a little bit too quickly so this is one that I've really been liking I have been using it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 13 brush I believe the slanted brush you could use it with any kind of slanted brush as well but that is the one that I've been using with it it's been working great it it stays on your eyebrows all day it is waterproof as well um, but it's something I really like I don't think I'll ever go through this either because I use like half a squeeze for both my brows so something that would last a long time and is it's similar price point to the Anastasia one as I can remember, um, but I feel like this one would last a little bit longer, especially longer than like a brow wiz. 
I have been um, in the month of April really into the like pomade products um, not using a pencil kind of steering away from the pencil aspect of things and doing more of like that pomade that more of a fuller brow so that's what I've been leaning towards so I found this and I ended up loving it so another product that is a surprise for me um, because it was in my black eyeliner video and I didn't love it then so this is the Kat Von D the tattoo eyeliner so this one is just a sample size but I have been reaching for this I have been loving it um, my Stila waterproof liquid black eyeliner did run out so I did throw it out but I thought I'd use up a few more other things that I do have before running out and purchasing that one even though I do need it um, I have been really liking this. I think the thing I like about it is that it's like a brush so it's not a foam applicator it's a brush so I have been really liking that um, it stays on all day it goes on really nicely it's what I'm wearing today um, but what I'm scared of is when I go to the store to get the full size that it's not gonna be the same product that's happened a couple times when you get like a sample size and you like it or you don't like it but the actual big product the full-size product is something different different formula different texture different scent that kind of thing so definitely something I'm concerned about when I go ahead and get the big one I know it is something that probably runs out quite fast as well um, just because I've used this a couple times and I find I have to like shake it to make sure I get a full line on the eyeliner so definitely something to consider I guess when I'm when I'm purchasing this but something I've been loving the month of April another product that I've been loving that's new to me so I got it kind of the middle of April um, but it became a a, a good favorite really quickly this is the Kevin Aquan tropical nights cool bronzer so I did get this from a local shop here in Edmonton um, so you can kind of see there it's a beautiful bronzer so like it says it's a cool bronzer so it's not something that's gonna be too warm too orange on the skin but something that's very cool tone um, I love it it's something where it can go with so many skin types it is quite expensive I believe I paid 50 maybe 48 50 something like that for it but I find I use a little bit of product so it is what I'm wearing today as well as um, a Milani bronzer um, but I find I use a little bit goes a long way because it is so pigmented so definitely something to consider when purchasing an expensive bronzer um, I do have the hourglass one I would say it's kind of similar to that in texture wise it's very creamy and soft um, but I do like this one a little bit better it's not as orange it's a little bit more on that cooler side so definitely something I've been loving as well another product that I found that I probably purchased but didn't use um, is the Anastasia this is one of her um, eyeshadow palettes it's with dress your face so one I've been using a lot lately um, I've been reaching for like this whole top row and a few on the bottom here it's what I'm wearing on my eyes today just I did like um, this orangey shade as well as the brown shade in there something I, I've been loving super easy and simple to use as well as it blends out so quickly so um, definitely something I've been reaching for it's easy to use especially because we have been moving so I've been using minimal makeup this is something that I was gravitating towards because it is so compact um, and it does come with a little brush as well I don't have the brush in here but it is something that is a pretty good brush because it has a blending brush on one side which is obviously a necessity but something I've been loving I don't believe that you can get this anymore but I do think that they do have like new ones that they collab with people all the time um, so definitely look for those the eyeshadow are great they're similar to this the single ones I believe the single ones are a little bit more creamy um, than these ones are but definitely easy to blend out and really nice another product I've been loving as well is benefits cream eyeshadow I think cream eyeshadow is kind of all in general I've been loving um, I have a few Lee Swati ones I have a few um, Maybelline and L'Oreal ones as well something I've been reaching for just to make a little bit of color on the eye without um, putting too much so this one in particular is a very beautiful summer shade this one is sipping and dipping that's what it's called so it is like a coral shade um, I will insert a swatch so you guys can kind of check it out I'm not sure if these are discontinued or not because I know they are discontinued out of the location I used to get them from um, here at a, like a drugstore kind of like Ulta um, here in Canada like a shopper's drug mart used to have these um, but I did find that my Maybelline ones ha I've had for about six months have been are pretty dry this one I've had for over a year and it is very creamy still very soft something that's easy to put on the eyes um, 
and it, it lasted. So definitely when you when you spend that little bit more of money, you get the money's worth because it's lasted quite a long time. Something I've been reaching for a lot and I throw a little bit of the brown in the crease and then like this nice corally orange all over the lid. So moving on to skincare products for favorites of the month of April, I have three here and I've spoken about two are new. Um, the first one is Masquerade Masks. So I did pick up a few of these. Um, I really like them. So. I didn't know they were in Canada, so I did find them in Canada in a few locations. Um, I know London Drugs carries them, and again, Lux Beauty Boutique, so a small um, Edmonton-based beauty store, also carries them. So I did purchase it from there. It is a nice sheet mask because it's a thick mask so it's something where the cotton's so thick that it doesn't like fall off your face you don't have to worry about like making sure it's down around your nose it stays in place it also um, absorbs in that 20 minute time that it does say um, for eight dollars is what I paid for these it's definitely worth it I found that my skin was very hydrated it was very even after I used it and I definitely will be picking up a few more of these the next one I have is a bioderma um, Hydro Bio Serum. So I normally, like you've probably seen, I use the uh, I use the Clarins Hydro Quench Serum. It is more on the oily side, and it is because um, it's a bio face, so it does have half oil, half the serum, as well as it's quite expensive. So when I have not been reaching for the Clarins Hydro Force or the Hydro Face, I've been reaching for this one. It is something that smells amazing. Very smooth it soaks in so quickly it's like a clear texture so nothing is going to be heavy on the skin especially in the hot months I don't want anything heavy on thick on my skin so because it is a serum I always put a serum first and then I go in with my moisturizer it's something that soaks in super quickly I've noticed the hydration level of my skin go up a little bit more um it doesn't help with any like evenness or pores anything like that I didn't recognize any difference in that aspect but I did just notice like a lot of hydration in the skin so something that I have been loving is the serum so and the last skincare I have is the Garnier Skin Active Mistillier Water. So I did do uh, like a this versus the Bioderma one. Um, I live for the Bioderma one. It is one where I have probably one or two a month empty in my empties. Um, but I have been reaching for this a lot. Not saying that it replaces my Bioderma um, Sensi Bio, but I'm out of that. So this is definitely something that I've been reaching for. What I would say though is that the Bioderma Sensi Bio H2O, it does not sting your eyes when you're trying to get that excess like mascara, eyelash glue, whatever it may be off your eyes, it does not sting. This one does sting if you do get it in your eyes. So this is something I use more so like to take off my foundation, take off a lipstick, switch it up, take off the stuff on the back of my hand, something like that. It's not something where I want to go in and I want to rub my eyes a lot with because I find it does sting a little bit. So moving on to hair products, I have two hair products here. Um, I have been, I have been trying to let my hair be dirty a little bit longer, not wash it as much. So these are two products that have came in handy quite often. I've been trying to stay away from the dry shampoo just because my scalp gets so sensitive. So these two products have been working really well. So this is the Tresemme Ultra Brushable Hold Hairspray. It's something that holds my curl but doesn't um, make my hair too knotty, doesn't make it stiff. So it is like in my back home here, but I can touch my hair without it being like stiff. Um, and in conjunction, these two are my favorites. So to give some volume, give some um, definition as I'm back homing, these are the two I go for. Um, keep in mind that my hair repels back homing, repels um, volume, texture, anything like that. It likes being bone straight. So trying to get any kind of texture, volume, anything in my hair is is quite difficult so these two work well I have spoken about this before um, I have got it from the hair suppliers it's by Bosley professional strength um, Bose volume texturizing spray I've had this for a long time and I use this every single day uh, it smells amazing it also has like a beautiful like spray so it isn't something that kind of like falls it's not something that's wet either so I know I have a few texturizing sprays that are quite wet that kind of weigh my hair down instead of give it volume so this is definitely something I've been loving these two together are like miracle workers for giving volume and texture to someone who has 
really limp fine hair like I do it's definitely something that's been working so I just want to mention one product here that I have not been liking um, it's something that has really been hyped up and I thought I would love uh, luckily I did get more of a sample size than I did the full size product because it is around $80 so this is the Tata Harper fine cleanser so I do have a little one here I did not love this so I like the scent of it um, I didn't notice a difference in my skin but I also don't like that it doesn't foam up it's more of like a, a cleansing oil um, on the back it does say that you can leave it on like for like a mask I think I'm gonna more so do that than I am gonna wash my face with it um, I like more of like a foaming cleanser one that I feel like actually taking things off um, if I take my makeup off and then I have any excess left over I want my cleanser to make sure all of that is off. Um, it doesn't work with my Clarisonic. As I've mentioned before, I use my Clarisonic morning and night. It doesn't work with that. It doesn't foam up. It doesn't activate it. Um, it's kind of just like drips down my skin and I hate that. So definitely something I have not been loving. I am thankful that I did not spend the $80 or $88, whatever it may be, on this purifying cleanser. I have heard great things about it, but it just did not work for me. I do wanna try a few more of their products. I know their eye cream is supposed to be really good, so I may invest in a new eye cream because I do need new eye cream, but we will see. I will keep you updated. So that is all my favorites for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your guys' favorites are. I need to try out a few new things. Let me know what your favorites are down in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.